Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Brick Street Sprite in the building. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. And you know what the fuck we gotta talk about, y'all. I watched Band last night, but I'll do a full recap on the battles I watched. I didn't watch all of it. Felt like it was long as fuck, but... I'm, or it was just hella battles. You know what I'm saying? It was all one round battles. Um, I thought B dot. Well, we'll save that, man. We'll save that for a different recap. We'll save that for the recap. We got to talk about New Jersey twerk, man. <laughs> New Jersey twerk. Now. Um. New Jersey twerk, man, at this point, feels to me like, I think Sue Surf said it well. I don't agree with a lot that Sue Surf says, you know what I'm saying? But he is a unicorn. He has talent. He He's not the best to me, but he's got like an original talent that a lot of people tried to copy. But he may be the biggest waste of talent in battle rap history to this point. You know what I'm saying? Like on on like from on like a realistic level, he may be the biggest waste of talent. And I'm not gonna blame it. Like, bro, you got my bad. I'm looking for something, y'all. Hold on. You got Tony, bro. Hold on. Where the fuck did I put it? Anyway, man. Oh, there it is. You got Tony, bro. On Twitter making excuses. You got fans making excuses. You got people making excuses. And why are always making excuses? And why are you a manager? Or are you less of a manager and more of an enabler of of what this dude does behind the scenes and the lack of preparation? Thinking you can do that, what you could do years ago. The smoking weed, the drinking. I don't know about the smoking weed, but all the drinking, the drug use, the Adderall popping, it's caught up to you, man, a little bit. You got to prepare. You can't do like like you could when you was 21, bruh. I know it's all, you ain't that old, but see, the thing is, man, when you don't take your craft serious, and I've been saying this for hella long, man, eventually it will show. Like, you can get through here and there. But when it comes to, like, these big bouts, bro, that you've been, I think Sue Surf even, even like, you know, even, like, kind of hinted to this. When it comes to the bigger bouts, it's it's it comes to a point where it's a different level now, bro. Like, like I think Surf even said this shit. Like, you can get through on the smaller leagues on your way up whooping motherfuckers off half-ass preparation. And now you're battling against monsters all the time, though. You know what I'm saying? And on a big stage all the time where there's a lot more pressure. Also, he lives life like a superstar and continues to live life like a stupid superstar up until the last minute. He doesn't ever take that time. Like, bro, you have to start taking the time, bro, to actually prep weeks ahead of time. You can't. You got to me start memorizing your shit at least a week ahead. Probably two if you're somebody like Twerk who already has memorization issues. Now... This is some mental shit at this point. Like I heard, I saw Bill Collector crying about it, calling him a, calling it an issue. It is an issue. It's a, it's a, a. I've never had any kind of repercussions issue. I think I heard. Uh, um, I'm re, I'm, I'm, I'm sourcing a bunch of people because I've already watched several blogs on, where people have covered this. But, but Jim said the same thing. You haven't. He hasn't been held to any kind of account like accountability he hasn't had any accountability they keep on giving him every, all that he wants so he thinks he has the world in his hand so it doesn't matter you know what i mean like the only time he acts like he gives a fuck is on stage he's right when he says jims was right when he says outside of the stage you've never even heard him say i'll be back harder bro i i, I owe y'all you know what i mean i owe the fans i owe url for these but bro think about this He's literally only had one caffeine performance against Tay Rock where he didn't choke, bruh. And last night was an epic choke. I'm talking about epic. I don't want a jersey choke. He choked for so fucking long, bruh. That was, bro, bro, that was one of the longest chokes I've ever seen, bro, in my life. Dog, and I've been watching battle rap and following battle rap and battling myself since, bro, <laughs> bro. 
for 30 years, bro. You know what I mean? For 20 plus years. You know what I mean? Bruh. <laughs> I don't even like... Part of me feels bad for the kid, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he is just a kid. You know what I'm saying? He's only a 25-year-old kid. And he's fucking... Obviously not being led correctly by whoever or 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 being given any real raw good advice by anybody that's really in his close circle. He's just he's just around yes man. Anwar is not a manager. He's a yes man. You know what I'm saying? Now with that being said, real name Brandon is kind of being overlooked because of the monumental choke from from uh from twerk last night. So. I want to give him I want to give him some some recognition and some props and cuz he had a flawless performance against Twerk. That material might have beat Twerk anyway. You know what I mean? Twerk was going to be on his shit. Bro, he said he said if he run I'll run out I'll chase him and get close enough to give the peace to bring peace to Jerusalem. Like God is back. Like, God is back or got his back. You know what I mean? Got his back, got it. Bruh, that was fire, dog. Like, he was, bro, he said, I'm about, I'm down for peace and war. However, Twerk want to manage it. Bruh, and war, peace and war. I'm down for peace and war. However, bruh, however, Twerk want to manage it. And war, and war. Fucking Twerk's manager. Bro, he was spitting, bro. He was on his shit. I can't even front. Real name Brandon was on his shit. And it sounded like Twerk had some fire material, but you can't continue to do this last minute prep. It just shows disrespect to the culture, to your fans, to the people that pay you and book you and show confidence in your ability. And it's making the URL look bad to caffeine every time you step up there and choke because they co-signing for you and giving, and giving you big bread to jump up there and not perform. Bro, he's had one successful caffeine battle. Bro, I'm not talking about other leagues or any straight to app shit like traffic or any of that shit because that was straight that was app only shit. You know what I mean? I'm talking about on caffeine. He's only had one good performance. One where he didn't choke, bro. Literally one. That's unacceptable. For somebody that's considered the unicorn or one of the best in the game right now, which he's not, you know what I mean? Y'all need to stop lying to this dude. Tell him the truth. What he needs is somebody in his motherfucking suck. Bro, he needs somebody in his circle to give him some fucking honesty. You know what I mean? Bruh, you doing too much. You, you're you not a fucking superstar, bruh. Like, bro, you may have been a rock star at one time, but if you continue on the path you're on, Performing the way you do? Well, bro, who knows? URL just might keep giving them plates. Because they haven't... He they, he has not been held accountable once yet. So, I don't... And like, bro, I... Stop, stop talking about the accident. Because the accident's not the reason, bro. He's gonna come up with every excuse because his fans will fucking believe it. It's not because of the fucking accident. He has performed well since the fucking accident. You know what I mean? There's been times where he was prepared and was good. You know what I mean? And was fired since that accident, dog. So it's not the fucking accident. It's just his lack of respect for everyone. And even for himself. You know what I'm saying? And he stays drinking and smoking and doing drugs. Bro, I guarantee you Adderall and drugs and all it. Like, bro, I'm talking about drugs in general. Popping pills. Whatever it is. It's not just smoking weed. He's, he's on drugs of some sort. I know, bro. Trust me. As someone who went through a lot of struggle with drugs and had to overcome, bro, a terrible opiate addiction. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. I know. You know what I mean? I can tell when somebody's not focused because of something else. You know what I mean? He up there hyperventilating and shit. Like, bro. Nah, bro. He got something else going on, man. But part of me does feel bad for the kid because he's he's only... He's, he's still just a kid, you know what I mean? I'm 10 years older than him. I'm 35. He's, what, 26? You know what I mean? Something like that. He's still just, like, a young dude with a lot of fucking... With a lot of prime ahead of him. So you hope he can get it right. But it seems like, bro... 
it's almost becoming a mental thing now. That's why, bro, I wanted to make this point. That's why he has to prepare better. Because now that it's a mental thing and, you, and you're forgetting no matter what happens, you have none of that late, last second prep shit isn't going to work anymore. Maybe all the Adderall you abuse, drugs do that to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Drugs will fuck your head up. You know what I'm saying? If you do enough of them. And they'll fuck your memory up. Bro. What I'm saying is. When that last minute prep won't work for you no more. Because the, if a pin drops you forget. I wanted to use. I don't want to. I'm not trying to take a book out of Sue Surf's fucking. A uh, page out of Sue Surf's book of analogies. But my. A basketball analogy. Would be. Somebody at the free throw line. You know what I mean? that has great fundamentals at the end of a game when the nerves at the, like say they're on the line and they have to make two shots they're down one they have to make two shots to win the finals or send their team to the finals they're going to be nervous right all that but when you're nervous and you've practiced and you've got your fundamentals correct then you can fall always fall back on your fundamentals when everything else is you're not so sure of at the moment you know what I'm saying or even when you've aged some, say you're a basketball player, you'll hit, I'm just saying you'll hit those shots when you when your when your fundamentals are correct. Even if you're nervous, you'll hit them nine times out of ten. Or if you're an older player and you can't jump like you used to be able to, you can't. It's just like not being able to remember shit the same way you once could. Or um, you can't jump. You're not as athletic as you once were. You got great fundamentals like the Jordan's wizard, the wizard's Jordan or something. You know what I mean? You can still drop 23, 24, 25 a game because you can fall back on those fundamentals. Kobe, you know what I mean? Before he ripped the Achilles, I'm talking about 36-year-old Kobe. Still put, still buckets, dog, putting up numbers. Bro, he could fall back on his fundamentals because of his preparation. You know what I mean? He prepared for every little thing. He knew what everyone was going to do. He knew what he was going to do. He knew what he had to do. All of his all of his mechanics and fundamentals were down packed. In battle rap, once that last second prep shit isn't working for you no more because you got a mental block, whatever you got going on, or you just can't do it no more for whatever reason, bro. Your mental ain't working the same as it once was. You know what I mean? Prepare better. I guarantee you twerk could help would help himself a lot. I almost guarantee you for that rock battle he did not fucking he did not prep last second. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you he knew his shit with like two weeks before that battle. And that's why he could get through it flawlessly without fucking up. You know what I mean? On the biggest stage. You know what I'm saying? Another question. Why did URL call twerk when they were gonna give people only one week prep for this band shit? Why was he one of the people that you chose? I know he's got a name and he's got the name, one of the premier names, but why in the fuck did you call him? You had to know that there was a possibility that he could for real shit the bed and make himself look even worse than he already had against Surf. You know what I mean? But I just think that was a bad move in general by the URL. Wait till you got something big to put him on. You know what I mean? Fuck the dumb shit. But, um... I just think he could do himself a big favor and service and possibly get out of this rut that he's in and been in for some years. Yeah, he had a couple of good performances, but bro, eight out of his 10 last performances have been crap, shit, trash truck, dumpster juice. Like I'm talking about horrible, you know what I'm saying? Like the worst type shit and because of his choking and his choking is, this shit is horrible. So... Whether it's nerves, whatever it is getting to him, if he would prepare and be ready two weeks ahead of time. I know these some of these dudes like to write last minute because then they can put whatever in it. They can stay as up to date as possible, everything current. But bro, you can write fire material and be finished within two weeks and spend the rest of that time on memorization, bro, and learning your material. You know what I'm saying? And that's 
that's one of the main things that he can do. You know what I'm saying? But I also think he needs to cut it down on the rock star lifestyle shit, on the every night getting fucked up, not caring, not obviously to prepare that way and get and and have your shit down packed you have to care and you have to cut some of those things out but you have to you have to stop drinking so much doing the drugs living you got bro you got to focus up when it's coming close to that time to battle bro when it's a couple when that battle's a couple weeks away you got to get you got to get your shit trump tight you know what i mean you got to get good like bro you can't keep on making prank phone calls on spaces all day bullshitting when you got battles coming up bro if you want to have a good showing, because look look where it's gotten you lately, man. Anyway, let me know, man. The fuck y'all think should happen? What twerk should do, whether you think it's a mental thing, whether you think it's all of the above. Because I think it's a little bit of all of the above. You know what I mean? I think it's somewhat the drugs, somewhat the mental last minute prep, the fact that he just doesn't care. I think it's a little bit of all of it. You know what I mean? But... I think he could get, dig himself out of that shit if he would get focused and really care. But I guess you can't force someone to care when they, if they don't. And how is someone going to care if he's not held accountable ever and he's just going to get the same plate and the same bag anyway the next time? And URL isn't going to punish him at all in any way. So, But he's got to get Anwar away from him. You got to get Anwar away from him. Anwar is doing him no good. Anwar is literally enabling him. Just a yes man calling him great all the fucking time. Calling him great on the spaces. This shit is so great. These prank calls, this is amazing. This is this is just, this is, this is fucking monumental shit. You know what I mean? Like, bro, this is fucking fire. You know what I'm saying? All these yes men on the spaces around these dudes, ain't doing them no good, bro. At all. I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think. What's your opinion, man? But I'm disappointed. And I think he's fucked up more classics now and more battles than than Surf. Straight up. He's fucked up more battles than Surf at this point, damn near. And that's a lot. Because Surf damn near fucked up more battles than anyone ever. Like by far type shit. And this dude is... It's damn near close to slash past surf. You know what I mean? Like, get it together. Focus up, man. You know what I mean? You're a grown-ass man. Ain't nobody gonna cry for you or hold your fucking hand. Get them yes men from out your circle and focus. It's your boy, Brick Street Sprite. Fucking out of here. 100.